In this tutorial, we will learn rounding of numbers and absolute and relative errors. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to understand how rounding off um, is done and what is absolute and relative error. Uh, like us and subscribe and let's get started. Uh, first of all, we have to say that in approximate calculations, it's frequently necessary to round off numbers, which means dropping one or more, one or more last digits to ensure that rounded number is as close as possible to the original number. We have several rules and I will show you these rules uh, by giving examples. Let's uh, give first example. Example. Um, let's round of the number 26 floating point 866 and uh, let's uh, round this number to three significant digits such that we have to have three digits in our result so the question is, instead of this 8, we have to uh, write 8 or 9. The answer is quite obvious, because uh, this tail of this number is more, let's say, 5 and 0, 5 and 0. And that's why we write that this is approximately equal to 26 floating point 9. Uh, why? Because uh, 6 and 6 is bigger than 5 and 0. If we had, for example, 26 floating point 8, 51, it would be 26.9 because 5 and 1 is bigger than 5 and 0. But if we had, for example, 26.8 and 49, in this case, 4 and 9 is less than 5 and 0, and this is approximately equal to 26.8. If we had 26.8, 5, 0, we write by this convention, this is rule of rounding, um, rule of rounding the numbers, it would be equal to 26.8. So, uh, common general rule is that if our tail is more than, bigger than 5 and 0, then we uh, add the one to our digit we want to uh, leave because here we want to round off uh, and leave three digits. Let's solve another examples to be clear. Um, assume we have um, number 37 floating point three, five and one. And we have to we want to leave three digits and again this is will be equal to 37 floating point 4 and we could leave 37 floating point 3 but this number this number is um, closer to original number rather than this number to this one. So this is not closer and this number is closer. Uh, another example, another examples are, let's quickly solve six floating point five and 27. And in this case, we want to leave 
uh, three digits, two digits. We want to leave the first digit and second digit. And this will be equal to six and five because 27 is two and seven is smaller than five and zero. And uh, that's why we write six and five. If we had 0 0.456, this is equal to a 0 0.5 because 56 is bigger than five and zero. Uh, if we had two floating point one, nine and five, this is equal to two and two because nine and five is bigger than five and zero. If we had one and 45, this is equal to one and four because here we had five and zero and five and zero is not bigger than five and zero. This is equal to five and zero. That's why uh, by our convention, we write uh, this is equal to one floating point and four. Uh, for number zero floating point 95, this is equal to uh, 0 0.9 because we want to leave two digit and number four floating point eight five and one this is approximately equal to four and nine because five and one is bigger than five and zero so now we can um, write an approximate number to any um, to any decimal. Uh, let's talk about absolute error and give a definition. Absolute error, let's write it as AE, is a difference between number itself and its approximation. For example, we have six floating point five and 27, and we have an approximation of this number, six and five. Then difference between these two numbers, the positive, positive difference. So we subtract the uh, greater number, subtract smaller number uh, of, from the greater number. And we write six floating point five, 27, minus six floating point five, this is equal to 0 0.027. And this is absolute error. And this is absolute error. Let's calculate absolute error for this approximation. Assume we have 0 0.4, 5 and 6 and this is approximately equal to 0 0.5 because we wanted to leave just two digits and approximate error is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.45 and 6 and this is 0 0.044 uh, so in the general case, if we want to use notation, assume we have number x, uh, assume we calculated approximation of this number. Uh, in this case, absolute error is equal to, um, because this approximation can be greater or smaller than our initial number, in this case, if we write x minus approximation, this number can be positive or negative, we don't know. But if we write absolute value of this number, it will be always positive. So this is a definition. If you don't know what is an absolute value of the number, watch um, 
the beginning of algebra playlist. Um, next, we define what is a relative error. Relative error is um, using our previous definition. This is absolute error. And we have to divide this absolute error by our initial number. For example, for our number 6 floating point 5 to 7, we had approximation 6 and 5. And absolute error for this number was um, the difference 6 floating point 5 to 7 minus 6 and 5 which is 0 0.027 and relative error is a division of this absolute error 0 0.027 divided by initial number 6 floating point 5 and 27 and if we perform division we also can without calculator uh, divide one decimal by another decimal. Watch our previous tutorials on a division of decimals and it will be a zero floating point zero zero four one three six six and so on and this is approximately equal to zero point forty one percent. Often uh, relative error is calculated uh, as a percentage. If you don't know how to calculate percentage, again, watch our tutorial uh, in arithmetic playlist. It was everything for this tutorial. Like us and subscribe and thank you very much for your time.